Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different, leaving the productivity talk behind and diving into fun and cozy ways to transition into the fall season because I'm trying to convince myself that fall is here and it's okay. I am a bit of an outcast when it comes to loving fall. Everyone's already got their pumpkin spice lattes in hand. I'm like, where did the summer go? Summer just gives me life. It's the long days, the extra sunshine. I just thrive in summer. I do struggle with depression in general. And so the sunlight relating to the depression, it really has an effect. So when we transition into fall, then it's shorter days and drearier days. I literally am just been waiting for hours today to try to get the sun to peek out so I could film because the weather app promised me that it would and it was lying as always. But anyway, all that to say, what I'm doing this year to not prevent, but I guess try to make it a little bit easier, the transition easier, is to find ways that I can embrace fall and romanticize it a bit so it's something that I look forward to. And so those are the things that I'm going to share in today's video. So if you find yourself being a summer girl as well and fall and even you know, we're getting closer to winter and that just makes you cringe, then first of all, please comment below and let me know that I'm not alone because there are not many of us out there. But secondly, I hope this video also gives you some comfort and ideas on how to embrace fall as well. And look at that, the sun is coming out even more. It's a sign. The first thing I'm doing is to bring fall into my space. So cozying up my home. I'm already like go nowhere with blankets. I'm cold all the time. But because I live in an RV, I can't really go all out and decorate because we move and I can't just like set up pumpkins everywhere and they'll topple over. So I've had to kind of draw back on the seasonal decorating, but I still found some ways to integrate fall into my home. I went to Marshall's for some inspiration to see what I could find. I did come home with a pillow that I added to our bed. As you can tell by the things that I'm going to show you, I am not like, let's go for deep plums and oranges and everything. Like I love simple, neutral fall colors that integrate with the rest of my color scheme for some reason. Something that I didn't have to buy was I found in my seasonal bin a dish towel with pumpkins on it that again with my color scheme. So that is like one of the easiest ways if you're a minimalist decorator like me is to get a dish towel for every single season and then just swap it out. And it's just like a fun thing to do. The other thing that I got at Marshall's was this new candle because what is fall if you're not getting a new candle out of it? I don't like crazy perfumey scents, but this one, it's not, I don't think it's that strong. Although when I'm not running it, I have to put the cap on because then my whole house smells like, I mean, it smells good. Maybe I just have an aversion to scents. No, we're gonna enjoy fall. I'm going to enjoy this candle. So apple honey butter and then Marshall's just always has like cute stuff, but on sale. So that's where I decided to go. They're not sponsoring this video, but happy to take a call from them. The other thing that I bought, and this is not fall related, but it's cozy related. So I guess it's fall, even though it's not themed. Anyway. I bought a new bath bat because the ones that we had were just so old and raggedy and you know when it's time to just throw them away. So I got a really cute one. This one was at Home Goods actually and I just love the color of it and it's so soft and fuzzy. I know that's not really a lot and there are plenty of YouTubers on here that go all out with the fall aesthetic but these are the things that I'm doing. It's the little things that make me happy. The next way I'm choosing to embrace fall is with fall themed food and drinks. So I don't drink coffee. I know it's a travesty, but I did grab a new tea to try because it had orange and spice and lemongrass and it all seemed like fall type items. So we're gonna try this for the first time on camera and see how I like it. It's okay. So it, I do drink tea sometimes, but it tastes like more of a watered down version of hot apple cider. It's not as, con maybe, this is a huge mug. I probably put too much water in it, but I don't know. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will drink it. The other thing you could do at the store is just look for like 
different fall themed items. I don't have a Trader Joe's nearby me right now, but I know they are hugely popular for fall themed food and snacks. The thing that I sort of trend towards is baking muffins. I don't know what it is about muffins and fall. They just seem like combined to me. So I have tried a new recipe. It was a vegan banana crumb muffin, which was amazing. And then I also have a vegan pumpkin muffin recipe that is also good. Anyone who doesn't like pumpkin tries this muffin and they automatically love pumpkin. It's that good. Oh, and when apples go on sale, I am definitely making an apple crisp. Not only does it make the house smell amazing, but I mean, oh, apple crisp, any crisp really, rhubarb crisp, apple crisp, peach crisp. Tell me in the comments which crisp you like best. I will be the first to say that I'm no fashionista and styling clothes does not come naturally to me and I don't even think I'm good at it, but one of the ways to embrace fall is to bring coziness into your wardrobe in different ways. I really wanted to go get a new sweater. I feel like that would just scream fall for me and I needed a new sweater anyway. So I did get this one, which is just, it's so cozy, so comfy. I'm also wearing fuzzy socks when it's cold in the morning. Those are just really fun. You of course have cozy slippers that you can try on. The other thing I wanted to get was a new nail polish color. So it's no surprise that when I looked through my nail polish box that everything was like summer tones. So I went to the store and I got this fun green that I think it's called Leaf Maybe. I think nail polish colors, like I would love to have that job. For this next one, let me pull up my list because yes, I totally made a list of fall activities. And actually I wanna scratch the word list because that just feels like a lot of pressure. And when I've made bucket lists like this in the past, I have felt like I need to cross everything off to just enjoy fall to its fullest. I'm going to swap the word list for menu because this is just a selection of items that we can choose from to add a little bit of pizzazz to the fall season. So on my list, I have do a corn maze, go to a fall festival, go to a pumpkin patch, take a hike through the woods. And then in terms of fall entertainment, so I have not watched this TV show that everyone talks about that is like perpetually in a fall like location. I'm sure you can guess what it is, Gilmore Girls. I don't think I've ever seen this. And if I have, I only caught a few episodes here and there because I watched the pilot last night and I didn't remember any of it. So I'm very excited. I have seven seasons to binge this fall. And I just feel like I don't know, everyone just talks so highly of Gilmore Girls and I know already that I'm gonna love it. When it comes to the books that I reach for, so this is an interesting one and you may not have this flavor of genres in mind, but I really like psychological thriller type books. So I just discovered Lucinda Berry, which is an author that I had never read in that genre. And she, I don't know how to explain it because it's like psychological thriller, but extra. <laughs> There's just a lot more to it, maybe a little bit more disturbing. So she's on that list. Uh, Frieda McFadden, I have read almost all of her books, Ruth Ware, Riley Sager. I feel like I'm missing one, Lisa Jewell. So all of those books, I don't know, the days get shorter, darker sooner. So I reach for darker books. I don't know what the situation is there, but if thriller is not your genre, I actually do have a series that I think you will love that is so sweet and a family drama situated up in Maine on a farm. And it is the Mirror Harbor series that will just get you in touch with everything, like all the fall feelings. And then the last activity that I have on here is to pick up my crocheting hooks again and work on a pot holder that I think I started last year maybe and never finished. I started crocheting during the pandemic. I feel like a lot of people did because I was having major anxiety and it just helped to do something with my hands. So I feel like the anxiety that comes with fall crochet is going to be a really good way to do that. And I can do it while I'm watching Gilmore Girls and I love being able to multitask like that in a way that's not really important because as a productivity person like multitasking is not a thing I feel like I have to say that but when you're watching a show you don't necessarily have to pay super close attention to it to get the gist so 
I like that I can do two things at once. I'm sure I will add to this list as the days and weeks progress whenever I need a cozy pick-me-up, but I encourage you to also make your fall activity menu, not bucket list. And that way on the days that you just feel meh, you have something that you can do that you're looking forward to. The last thing that I am doing to make sure my mental health is good through the fall season is to prioritize good self-care habits. I have over the past week completely let my workouts go because I'm feeling that oppression of fall. I don't want to go do anything. I just want to lay on the couch. I am not motivated at all. It was a reminder to me that you're not going to feel better by just not doing the things that you were doing. Summer made me so happy because I was outside exercising, running, and just being generally more active. So that's what I want to still focus on as we transition into this next season to make sure I don't let the things that make me feel good slide by. So that also means getting to sleep on time because I have not been doing really well with my evening routine either. See, fall just messes me up. So this video is just as much a reset for me as I hope it is for you to just figure out how we want our habits and routines and what life looks like in general as we go into fall. One new addition to my morning routine that I have been doing lately, and I do think it makes a little bit of a difference, but I got the happy light for Christmas last year. And so on days that are drearier, I will turn that on for 20 to 30 minutes. You're not supposed to look directly at the light. You're supposed to like sit in front of it off to the side. So it kind of goes into your eyes, but you're not staring directly at it. And it's just supposed to emulate this like natural sunshine without those harmful UV rays. So like I said, I think it helps in a way that it brightens the space differently. It's more of like a natural light. It's really hard to explain. Anyway, I know this video is more of like, here's how I'm transitioning into fall and the things that I'm doing. But as always, I want it to be an encouragement to you and inspiration for ideas. So if you just need a little boost, go find a fall-like item, food item, or wear something fall, like buy a new nail polish, read a new book, or dig into a TV series, anything that is cozy and comforting and going to make the transition between summer and fall a little bit easier. I'm gonna be sharing the different things that I am trying as I do them over on my Instagram. So you can follow me there at Kaylin Brooke Co. Some days are really like better than others. I think it really has to do a lot with the sunshine, but I'm hopeful. Even though I'm already sort of feeling that tug and pull downward, I am hopeful that these are the things that will make a difference. So, Thanks for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different than what we're used to, but if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.